So I've got these two beautiful girls, baby girls, and uh, I love them and I'm scared of them because they're going to be cooler than me because they're fucking younger. <laughs> and I just want them to like me. Like, I don't want them to think that I'm cool, you know? I don't want them to think, I just want them to fucking just dig me just a little bit. Just think I'm okay, you know? I don't even think they understand what I do for a living. I'm afraid I'm going to walk past... I have this girl, she's three. When she's like five, I'll walk past her room and she'll be explaining to a friend what I do for a living and she'll be like, yeah, I think he's a clown. <laughs> Not a clown. <laughs> Not a clown. Although I gotta say, man, and I love stand-up with all my heart, but it's fucking not cool either. It's not. You fucking see pictures. You ever see pictures of rock stars? They're always like, you know, or some crazy shit, you know, that they're doing some fucking bono thing like that. You know, they got some shit shirt off, fucking, you know, ripped like Jesus look. The fucking abs. You ever see a picture of a comedian in the paper? Durr! <laughs> fucking the worst. They never let us be cool. And I'm pushing a rock agenda on my daughters. I can feel it. I want them to be in a band. I'm trying to push that agenda, which is wrong, I know, because you don't want to do what your dad wants to do. And I'm afraid I'm going to walk past her room when she's like 11 and we'll have a fight and she'll be like, fuck you, clown. <laughs> I don't want to play bass. Stop playing the Pixies. I never stop playing the Pixies. But when making a music selection for her, that's where I can have some influence. Because think about it. They're babies, right? They're little kids. They don't know that there is something called children's music, so you don't have to fucking play it for them. Think about that. Because if you're an adult and you spend some time with that shit, it's insane making. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Stab me in the eye. Stab me in the eye. Oh, the itsy bitsy spider went fuck you, fuck you, God. With the language. So I thought, you know what? I don't have to do. Where is Thumpkin? Itsy bitsy spider. I get to decide what children's music is. I will design new children's music. I will decide what it is. So I thought I'd pick something that I like, something that's awesome, something that's powerful, something that's beautiful to me, something that has history, something that has depth, something that I feel that has a future. I thought I would play a little Black Sabbath for her. And I thought she'd dig that, man. When she gets older, she'd be able to say to her friends, my dad played Black Sabbath for me. And that's me trying to be cool in the future. And you know what? That's fucked up. And selfish. Because you want to know something? Babies hate Black Sabbath. They, it scares the crap out of them. They don't know what you're doing. What is that? It's loud and it's... it's and I, what am I thinking? I don't even listen to it with the lights off. What's wrong with me? What kind of a dad am I? Not only that, babies love the Itsy Bitsy Spider. They love it. They love Itsy Bitsy Spider. It's their free bird. You start singing Itsy Bitsy Spy, they lose their shit, literally and figuratively. <laughs> if you were a room full of babies right now, and I said, the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout, you know what you would say? Down came the rain. I washed the spider out. And then I would say, out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And then you would say, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. And then you would throw a diaper up on stage.